guess I'll uh, start at the end. What did, what did you think of uh, Herb's maneuver there? At the <laughs> I didn't even see it. Um, I was looking at something else, just thinking that we're about to get the ball in, and I heard the crowd. And so when I looked up, I didn't know if we turned it over or what happened, but I saw Herb had the ball, and they were calling foul. Um, Herb's living a little dangerously, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of a choppy game. Just what were your thoughts on why you guys were able to pull out that win? Um, yeah, those are the type of games that we relish. Um, guys are out, and, you know, we believe in each other. Guys had opportunities to play more minutes. Some guys that don't play a ton had an opportunity to play, and, you know, we went into practice and went into shoot-around uh, with the mindset that we were coming in and try to take away some things that they do well, which is points in the paint. Um, so proud of our guys, proud of the, of, of the effort, and um, just big-time win on our home floor. What did you just think of Herb's defense overall in that game? Aside from that, I mean, he gets, he gets, obviously he gets the charge at the end, but just what did you think of his defense as, as a whole on Shea? I thought he was fantastic um, in the stance, contesting shots. Um, I thought a couple calls didn't go our way when it comes to Shea getting to the, the foul line, but Herb is, is outstanding. Um, his defensive instincts are incredible, and um, he guards the best guys every night. And... He does a fantastic job doing it. I mean, without going back and looking at it, just off of that, do you think that was one of the better defensive games you've seen him play? Um, it is. You know, I, Kildas Alexander is one of the league leaders in scoring. Um, he still scored the ball, but we made it tough on him, and that's the deal for us. We have to make guys make tough shots all night. I thought Herb did that, Dyson did it, whomever was on him, and we just forced him all the game long to try to make tough shots over our length. Um, Heck of an effort on our part. Defensively, we were solid. And Z carried us offensively. Him and Trey, they just made plays uh, down the stretch and over and over again. They just kept the game simple. Yeah, I know you're all about team defense. So actually about the team's performance, uh, limiting Shea. Uh, obviously, he got to the free throw line, but you know, when 7 of 21 from the field, uh, couldn't make the play there at the end. Just what did you think about the performance, just limiting him as much as possible? I thought we made it tough on him. Look, he's a heck of a player. and. When, you're t when you touch the ball that much, uh, you're going to make some, some points. So our mindset was make him have to make tough shots, try to keep him off the foul line. I mean, he, he shot 18, so that's an area that we can improve, especially with the reaching. But other than that, I thought we did a solid job on him collectively, and then rebounding the ball was huge for us. Yeah, and with no CJ and B out in the lineup, Zion obviously knew he was going to see a lot of bodies tonight, close to his first career triple double. Just what did you think about the way he just handled the way they hit, they defended him tonight, making plays for himself and others? I thought he handled it well. Um, you can see by his assist number, eight assists, eight rebounds. He was patient. He had moments where he knew he could get to the basket with his speed, his force, his quickness. Then he had moments that he just kicked it out and trusted his teammates. Uh, that's what our team is about. We had to dig down tonight with guys being out and, and pull out a win. And we're all super proud of our guys for, for the effort tonight. And hey, Willie, you closed this game out with Jose was the oldest guy on the court. What does it uh, <laughs> say about just the youth of this team and what can a game like this do for them? Uh, we're, we're continuing to build. Um, look, it's, it's a blessing to have young guys that buy in, that are high character, uh, that want to compete game in and game out. Um, especially after coming out of, out, of, out of our Memphis game where we kind of got on each other and had to call each other up. Uh, it's a blessing to coach these guys. They're ready for the moment, and we'll just continue to grow, continue to stay connected, and go out and compete and try to win games. Coach, uh, 18 out of the first 24 points were points in the paint for the Pelicans, yet no free throws. Was there any feedback from the refs before Zion got that frustrating tech? And have you heard any more about how he was – Feeling it, you know, he had to watch himself after he got that tech. How how was he adjusting to that? I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, you know, it is what it is. We got to play through it, and uh, I thought our guys did a great job of doing that. Uh, you mentioned Zion uh, carried you all offensively, but uh, three blocks and a steal. How did you feel about his defense tonight, particularly closing with him at the five? He was great. Um, you know, he's still knocking some rust off, but he's getting better and better. Uh, the more that he plays. And um, I'll continue to say it, but Zion's individual defense is a part of our collective defense as a team. And as long as he's in the right spots and, and our game plan discipline is at a high level, 
Uh, we can live with guys making shots. They're going to make some shots as long as we make it tough. And I thought Zion and, and collectively across the board, we did that. Likewise, uh, you opted to close with Dyson. I mean, what did you feel like he was giving you all out there, uh, particularly in those uh, close moments at the end of the game? Well, he's another big wing that can defend. And um, he's another young guy that came in and, and played solid for us. And that's what it's going to take, um, guys getting some some playing time in big games and big moments. And it'll help us down the stretch. I thought Dyson was really good tonight. Um, I know you want to stay away from you know criticizing the refs, but I mean, Zion shot the same amount of free throws as threes tonight. Uh, is there anything he can do to try to get to the line more? Um, we'll, we'll continue to play play through contact. You know, I'm going to leave the leave those comments and keep them to myself rather. Um, We'll just continue to go out and play and play hard. And, and as long as we're doing that, we'll be fine. Coach, in the last four minutes, you didn't really have Zion was the biggest guy out there. Was your strategy talk about just playing with guards mainly on the, the last four or five minutes? Um, yeah, we wanted to be able to match up and, and switch uh, multiple screens. Uh, so we wanted to play with a lineup that you know guys can defend red screens, switch screens, rebound the ball. And we just played Zion at the five tonight. It was it was a field thing more for us. And I think we'll have some moments where we see that again. Yeah, and we talked about Herb's defensive performance tonight. It seemed a lot of during late game situations, they were trying to force a switch, get Herb off of SGA. <laughs> but you guys were able to say, okay, we'll throw Trey at him, we'll throw Jose at him. Just how much of a luxury is that to have so many options on a perimeter that you can trust in those big situations to, to cover the other team's best player. It's a huge luxury, luxury to have. And um, the biggest point to it all is um, all of our guys taking the challenge on of guarding the ball, no matter who they call up into a screen. And those are things that we work on in practice. Uh, when we get shoot around times, we work on it because that's what the game is going to come down, come down to. Can you get stops? Can you execute on an offensive end? And I thought we did that. Trey finished through contact a few times tonight. He's kind of been driving it a little bit more. Just what do you think about the that advance in his game of, you know, he's all right, he's got the shot down. We know how he is, but being able to drive mm -hmm. and, and finish at the rim. I think he's doing a great job of reading the game. Um, teams know that he he's an excellent catch and shoot three point uh, shooter. And so when they close out to him, he shot faking and he's point five, just driving the ball and he's going up and finishing. So um, big time credit to our performance team. They're working on all the guys, the strength. Uh, Trey's getting stronger. Herb is getting stronger. Dice and all of our guys. And it's really about going down there and finishing through contact, like you said. And, and Trey did that. Um, he did that well tonight. All right, thanks. Okay, thank you. Coach, you money in your pocket, man. Yeah, no. <laughs>